Housekeeping Cleaning Organization Principles of Cleaning Definition All the housekeeping staff should follow some principles of cleaning irrespective of size of hotel and type of guest rooms. These principles are followed to make the work easy and safe for the employees. Basic principles of cleaning are as follows. All dust, loose particle of sand, should be removed with clean duster before starting any cleaning process. Cleaning process should restore surfaces to their original state. Cleaning process should be done from high to low and from innermost corner to outside. Cleaning process should start with milder cleaning process. Try to remove the stains as soon as possible from the surfaces. Try to make the minimum noise during the cleaning process. Sweeping should be done before dusting and dusting before vacuum cleaning. Vacuum cleaners are preferred above brooming. Cleaning should be carried out starting from cleaner area to heavily soiled areas. Housekeeping staff should follow all safety precautions during cleaning. Cleaning equipment should be cleaned and washed as specified after the use and before storing. Cleaning agents should be replenished and stored properly for next shift. Wet cleaning need to be carried out with proper signage in the area. All waste should be discarded time to time and cleaning area should be kept neat and clean during the process. Hygiene factors in cleaning. All housekeeping staff members need to maintain the high level of hygiene standard for themselves. Floor pantry need to be kept clean at all time. Color-coded duster recommended for different type of cleaning. Equipment hygiene to be maintained by cleaning and washing the equipment before storing. WC cleaning equipment and agents should be stored separately in janitor trolley. Cleaning solution should be changed frequently during cleaning process. Grooming should be avoided in hospitals and vacuum cleaning recommended. Disinfectant solution should never be topped up as some bacteria may survive in disinfectant which will subsequently spread the germs rather than killing them. Both sani bins and dust bins should be used in public area clock rooms slash powder rooms. Staff should not touch the garbage with bare hand. Telephones should be disinfected after every checkout. Safety factors in cleaning. Protective cloth should be worn by housekeeping staff like gloves, gum boots, aprons, masks while using harsh chemicals. Ladder should be checked for sturdiness before using. Safety caution boards should be used in public areas during cleaning process. The heavy items should be lifted with bent knees and avoiding the bending of back to avoid the strain on backbone. The heavy items should be lifted with the help of other staff wherever possible. Cleaning agents should be stored in well-labeled containers. The staff should be well-trained for the use of cleaning equipment and agents. The basic first aid kit should be available at appropriate places all time. The fire exit way should be free from equipment and furniture all the time. At the time of fire breakdown elevator should not be used. Cigarette butts should be fully extinguished at the time of disposal of trash. The cleaning cloth having any trash of solvent should be disposed of immediately as they are highly inflammable. Terminology used during this presentation. Floor pantries Floor pantries are generally situated on each floor near the service elevator for maintaining the stock of linen, cleaning agents, guest room supplies etc. Clock rooms or powder rooms Washrooms in public areas are called clock rooms or powder rooms. Sani bins These bins are used in the clock rooms or powder room for collecting soiled hand and face towels. WC Full form of WC is water closet. Thanks a lot.